big one last week for you. Uh, after watching the film, what are some of the positives and some of the negatives that you saw? Uh, not a lot of negatives from last week. Uh, the week before, you know, Bridge Creek beat us pretty soundly, so we just, you know, Riverside's struggling right now, and uh, we felt like we need to just come out and uh, not try not to play down that level and try to have a good ball game, and at the same time, get better at the little things we do, and we felt like we accomplished that. Uh, Coach Satir does a great job over there. His kids are playing hard, but uh, we really didn't get a lot of negatives out of it. We got to play a lot of kids. A lot of our younger guys got some experience, so it was a good game for us. It looked like you guys were running the ball pretty well. Yeah. Um, you guys have been doing it all season. Yeah, I, you know, we're going to commit to the running game, but again, they, they double deep in Elroy, which you know, it takes one less guy out of the box, uh, so we're able to run the ball a little bit easier. Uh, so we're pretty pleased with that. Offensive line's been blocking pretty well for you guys. Those guys have been blocking well all year, and uh, really they've gotten better every game, and I uh, hope that continues. A uh, big game this week for you. What, yep. What's some of the things you guys have seen from on film? Uh, Blanchard's a great football team. Jeff Craig uh, was our offensive coordinator when I played at East Central. Uh, he does a great job. They've got great schemes on both sides of the ball. Um, they've got great players. Um, they've got a really good running back, quarterback, and they've thrown it to about eight different receivers. Uh, so you got to defend the whole field. Uh, defensively, uh, they run the odd stack. Uh, they've got some big old defensive linemen and some really good linebackers in the secondary, so we're going to have to play well. Uh, this is like a playoff week to us. We, If we beat Blanchard, we're in. And, uh, you know, Marlowe, we haven't been in this situation uh, in the recent past. Uh, we haven't been in the playoffs since 2007. So, you know, we're treating this game like a playoff game, and our kids are excited. And It's going to be senior night. Uh, it'll be the last time that these seniors get to play on Outlaw Stadium. So it's a big night. We're excited to play. I'm talking about playoff game for you guys. Uh -huh. Being ranked down as far as you guys were at the beginning right. of the season and actually having a chance for playoffs, is that kind of the icing on the cake for you guys? You it, think? it is. I mean, if you had told us at the first year we'd have a chance to compete for the playoffs, uh, I'd say we'd be happy. But I think any competitor or coach, you know, we've had five wins this year. And any competitor or coach still, you're not satisfied. Um, and our kids really want to make the playoffs. Uh, we want to make the playoffs. Uh, so it'll be icing on the cake if we make it, but at the same time, uh, we'll be really disappointed if we don't.